resolve actually is not a destination for all this data. Instead, is uh, can connect to all the tools that a human has. It can connect to GitHub, it can connect to observability, it can connect to your cloud infrastructure, and use all these tools the way a human engineer would, right? With the goal of, uh, with the main goal of, you know, troubleshooting and getting to the root cause of alerts and incidents. Uh, so, you know, it replaces, let's say, human effort, especially this kind of tedious, stressful work, so that you can uh, improve uh, the time it takes to resolve incidents, improve reliability, and generally avoid escalations and avoid uh, having humans do all this work instead of building. Got it. Okay. So, <clears throat> does it actually go and change the code and commit fixes? Or does it do some sort of configuration changes in the environment? So, the first of all, the way Resolve works is very simple. It, you can plug it into all the tools that you have as a human. And then it uses all these tools to build a pretty detailed understanding of the environment and does this constantly, right? It always runs in the background. Every time there is a new change, a new configuration change, it picks it up. And when it needs to investigate a problem, it has all this context available mm -hmm. uh, so that it can do it. Typically, when something goes wrong, the first thing Resolve will do alongside humans is going to try to determine what happened and what is the root cause, right? Once you determine that, the next step is usually to remediate. Remediation oftentimes comes in the form of, let's say, maybe rolling back a change, maybe changing something in the infrastructure, but oftentimes is something that is wrong with the code. So in those scenarios, Resolve can generate actually a PR or can generate the code that will, uh, will do the fix.